everyone, Adrian here. Welcome to Vlogmas. Today, I am going to film a what's in my work bag video. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, so for this past year, I've utilized this bag. This has been my work bag all year. It's really beautiful. I really like it, um, but it's kind of narrow. And I've started to carry more stuff for work. So, um, I invested in a bigger bag. And I don't know if you saw like my Toronto vlog, but if you did, I, I bought this for travel and it's from Target. <clears throat> it's just a simple bag. It was really inexpensive. It was probably like $35. And in this bag, I can carry a lot of stuff. So I have my MacBook for work. That goes in there. I have my iPad, which is important. I carry this little thing here, it's like a document holder, and I like it because it's very sturdy, but it's also really pretty. Um, I have this Frida Kahlo collection uh, makeup bag from Ulta, and in here, I keep a lot of like feminine hygiene products, <laughs> makeup, lotion, hand sanitizer, that sort of thing, um, even like painkillers. That's important, especially if you're like in work all day and you have a headache. So I never leave home without this. And I have a lot of like female hygiene products in here because not a lot, but like just the essentials, you know, like. And my mom always told me to always keep these on hand because you never know when someone's gonna need it. And when I was in junior high, like it was a time when girls are transitioning from like young girls to or little girls to young ladies and it definitely came in handy so i've i've maintained this little um, habit and i also taught my daughter to do the same thing because she's in middle school now here i have my um my wallet and this wallet i love because my kids picked it out for me and it was a birthday gift so i have that and then I have this little fossil purse, which I love. It's a leather, so it's very sturdy. And in here I have my, my phone and iPad charger and my AirPods. And I use these every single day, never leave home without them. And then I keep a pair of smart wool gloves because it's very cold now. Um, where I live so I can go to work and it'll be sunny and then I'll get out of work and it'll be snowing so I don't like to be cold and I don't like my hands getting all dry and crusty from the cold here I have glasses so I have my fancy pants ray-bans that are polarized and I have my regular prescription eyewear and of course like a little cleaner so I always have these on hand and I have two sets of keys. These are for the office, and these are like for home and vehicles around the house. And then, because I'm Dina, I always have my arrowhead and my Ted to with me. Never leave home without those. And then I have my hydro flask. So this is relatively new. Um, for the longest time, I resisted the urge to get one of these fancy pants expensive water bottles i always use the cheap like plastic ones and i was fine with that however um my my daughters want like started wanted one of these so i was buying them for the kids because i don't know it just seems different to buy stuff for your kids than it is to buy stuff for yourself but um they really loved them the reviews were great and so i finally decided to get myself one and i have this with me and then the most important things in my work bag are my planners so um, for 2022, I had a start planner, and this planner is great. There's so much in this planner that is useful. Um, there's like goal setting stuff, year out stuff, you can plan your holidays, your travel, you know, all your projects, all that good stuff. But what I realized is that I don't really use all of the sections that are in here. And I have in the past, but like even this year, you know, like 
the entertainment education education section's totally blank, and it's not because I wasn't doing anything in those areas, it's just I didn't fill it out. Even my vacation destination section's totally blank, even though I went on uh, multiple trips this year. Um, my ho The holiday section is blank, and I'm just like not wanting to waste paper anymore, you know what I mean? And so what I normally, what I, what, what usually um, happens is like, you know, I, this is what people use the most, the year out, you know, planning all of the appointments, planning all of my meetings, making sure that I'm on top of all of that. That way I'm prepared. I know what's coming. I know like when to book travel. I know when the kids are doing something. Um, and like my, my daughter recently, you know, she joined sports. Um, this semester she was in cross country and then this year she's joining basketball so I need to keep track of her games and all of that so this is what it looks like this month and inside the planner um, I usually do like block scheduling so I know like I, I section out my days to know what to focus on so this is for the weekend but like here's an example of this is like Monday so I did work Monday. I did have stuff to do Monday. However, I didn't even use this page. And the way it's broken down is there's like a gratitude section, then there's like your assignments and tasks. There's like um, reading, like books and stuff. There's um, food planning, so you can track your meals, hydration, vitamins, exercise, all that stuff. And like, I don't even use all of that every day. The majority of my, of my days, they're all like, what they look like are assignments and tasks that I need to do and the meetings that I need to plan. So for the most part, this is what it looks like. And so what I need to do is, um, I was thinking, you know, I don't want to lose paper and I don't want to overspend. Um, my big goal in 2023 is to be more conscious about my spending. And so the new planner that came out by Start, it's beautiful, but it's over $100. And I was just like... I couldn't bring myself to spend that kind of money on a planner that I may not even use to its full potential or full capacity. So, I invested in a lectern. And I was looking at reviews online and this one looked really good. So it's a leather bound, which I love. I, I paid a little more to engrave it with my name and my email. So I like that. I really like customization. Um, and also, it has um, 2022, 2023 and 2024 calendars in here, which is awesome because I'm always like looking ahead, planning ahead, and some of the things that I engage in with work, I mean, it's like a year and a half in advance for the most part. So to stay on top of it, it's good to have a really nice planner that does offer that. Um, and then the year, it's just really simple. The layout's really nice. So I'm already filling stuff in because things are already being planned for next year. So I have like fundraisers that are going to be happening, concerts that I want to partake in. I'm going to be running a race in January, so that's in here. And then of course my classes and then conferences. So these are already in here so that I'm aware of them, I'm planning for them, I see them. Travel for other people and myself. So that's really nice. Um, and then there's a breakdown by month here. So I like that also. It's kind of a good thing for birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. There's a project plan section that I really love. Um, so it's all broken down by week. So every week 1 to 52 are on here and this is how you can track your progress for certain projects. For me it's mostly going to be running and other activities like that, whatever comes up. But um, there are some ventures that I'm excited about for this next year that um, I'm, this is going to be useful in planning all of that. And then of course there's a few days in December to start and then it jumps into January and all the other months. And I like it. I really like it because it's simple. It's basically, so every day you have a whole day per page and you have the hours starting at, it looks like 7 a.m. And then it's actually a military time, so it's 7 to 22. But you can plan out your days like that. Put in all of your meetings, and there's a section here for notes, which I'm going to use for my tasks. So I know which tasks need to get accomplished that day. 
and then um and then it's just like that the whole thing's like that it's not it's nothing too out of the ordinary there's enough space for everything and I don't think I'm going to be wasting any paper with this one because every day is accounted for in this and there's nothing extra really included. And so I really like this and I'm excited to use it. So in my bag, I have them both right now because I'm utilizing both. And um, it takes up a lot of space, which is good because, I mean, that's good. So it's good that I have a, a massive bag, right? So I can like have that section there and then I have all these little things in the middle and this middle section zips up and I like that because um, when it rains or snows all of this stuff is protected see and then I have my laptop and my iPad and those go in this back section here and the cool thing about this bag too that I really liked is there's a little magnetic pocket here so I put my phone in there and it closes automatically which is nice and it stays closed so my phone doesn't just tumble out you know what I mean even if I were um to be you know maybe struggling with a door or whatever you know what I mean like I slip I know my phone's not going to tumble out and break so that's important so that's my video um thank you for supporting Navajo Tea Time Thank you for joining us for Vlogmas. Um, this is something that's new for our channel and we're excited to do it. So yeah, that's my video. Thanks everyone. Good night.